brush flies over the canvas, just like a conductor's wand. And eventually, it slows down and stops, and you're left with the traces behind, and left with great satisfaction, gratitude, and a reinforcement of allowing for what comes. It may be an accident that you think, but no, you find that it is a working part of the piece. To answer the question of the canvas support, how did it grow? It's so large. It started out as a plain air. I had two 40 by 30 canvases in the back of my van. I knew I wanted to paint these rising sunflowers that were in the face of the sun to me. They were so tall and mighty and vital. And so I laid them out on the ground. They wouldn't fit on my canvas. And I attached uh, dried stalks to my brushes and painted on the ground. And that is the idea that I came to understand. This, this unity of life and death, that it's all one energy, and that I needed to allow and grow the idea to show the one from the first two original panels. So I had to order up, find and order up canvases that would help me express on a canvas support this idea.